Hello and welcome to our web series. Today we're going to be talking about the new photo share. The new photo share can be found under plan and then photo share. So after clicking on to photo share here you can see school assets. Here you'll be able to change your name, your primary color, and your logo. So under content and preferences here you will see the school life. This is the collection of photos from activities, events, clubs and organizations, sports, and any other uh, trips that your school may go on or activities that your school may do. First, you will see the end date. Here you can change what date you would like to cut off. Typically, we would like to see maybe a couple of weeks before uh, the book is due. This gives you a chance to organize your photos and to use the photos that you have collected in the yearbook. And it also gives you a chance to maybe open it up for a little bit longer if you need more additional photos. So here under the photo guidelines, um, you can have any guidelines that you want. You can type in whatever you want uh, to let the parents, guardians, uh, staff members know what exactly you're looking for. Some helpful advice is you can actually put in there which like field trips you went on or which activities you're looking for or things like that to help guide the parents of which photos you're exactly looking for for the yearbook. All these photos will be in the image library and we'll show you that here later on in the video. Next is the portraits section down here. By default, this is turned off. If you want to accept portraits from parents or guardians or whoever, it could be a professional senior photo that they've taken that they would like to use here. They can submit those. To turn these on, all you have to do is come over here to the toggle, toggle this portion on. Here you can allow for the parents to put like a senior quote or have the seniors themselves or whoever you're getting the portrait from to add a quote. Should you not want that, just click right here and deactivate that. Here in this box, you can say, please submit uh, only the following photos or only fo following photos will be placed in the book. Um, so give the parents a heads up uh, as to what you were looking for um, photo wise or portrait wise, should you wish to use this section. When you're ready, Click on the teal button that says publish site. It takes a few seconds and here you will see that your site is now active. The first screen right here says you can share this via social media, email, or text. This is a link. Once you click on this link, it will be placed in your copy. Uh, so you don't have to right click and copy or Control C to copy it. Once you click it, it's already uh, copied. Here you will see your QR code. You can download this QR code and you can send it via social media, email, text, or however you send out information for the schools. Should you need to deactivate PhotoShare for any reason, come up here to view history and click this little arrow. Here you will see a history of your activated, deactivated websites. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see in this red, unpublish your website. Click on this, you'll get a little pop-up that asks, do you sure you want to unpublish? Click on yes. And here you will see your website is unpublished. This is good if you need to maybe pause photo entry uh, for a moment, or you need time to go through the images that you have, or if you feel that you're getting images that you didn't want. And so this is a chance for you to shut the site down, go through, delete all those images, or to move those images into folders if you need them to. And then uh, you can republish your website and the parents can use it. Just so you know that once the website is republished, you don't have to change anything. The QR code stays the same and the website stays the same. So now let's look at how to share a photo. All right, when we copy and paste the web link that we received in the uh, admin side to a web page. We'll get this web page right here. Here you will have your school name. And then here at the bottom, it will ask you if you are a student, photographer, parent, guardian, faculty member, or business. So they can click on who they are. They can enter their first name, last name, their email address. After entering your information, including your email address, you will be sent a six digit verification code. After entering that six digit number, you'll be taken to a screen uh, like this right here. Here you will be able to share your school life photos. All you have to do is click on share photo. Before we do that, you will see right here that it will tell you how many days you have left and when the site actually closes. After clicking on shared photos, 
Here you will see a review guideline that will let the parent or guardian or staff member know you want certain images from certain trips or images with as many students as possible, or you want people to make sure that they tag their images with the students so you know who they are, or they know what event they're from. After they click on, okay, got it. They will be given this screen right here that says upload images. They accept PNG, uh, JPEG, TIFF, HEICs or uh, web. So after clicking on choose image, they will have their file explorer open up. They can select one photo or they can select multiple photos. Once they click on open, they will take time to process and they will upload right here. So here we can click on fast tag. So under fast tag, it lets us fast tag these three photos. So we don't have to do them one at a time. We can name these photos, all three of them at once. So we could put our student name. So you could put the name of your student, grade level. Next, you can enter topics, such as like maybe these pictures were taken on a field trip. They can select as many topics as they want in order to uh, make sure that the photo is tagged appropriately. So here we're going to click on add. Okay, so we have added the student's name and their grade level right here. Once we are done with that, we click on done. And then once we are happy with all the images here, you can see one person, one topic on all of them, click on submit and your photos are on the way. They sent a confirmation to the email address that you have provided. Now, once they're done with that and they want to share more photos, maybe they just got done with the field trip photos, but they have maybe a book fair. They can click on more photos, come back to photo share, click on, they got it. And now they can upload even more photos if they wish. So now, now that those photos have been uploaded, let's go ahead and take a look at where these photos are in your image library so you know how to get to them. Okay, so here in your image library, you can find the images that the parents have sent in under photo share by simply going to your inbox right here, clicking this arrow that's pointed at it. Here you will see photo share right here. Click on this arrow right next to it. You'll see the subfolders. Here is school life, and you'll see that there are three images currently in it. You can click on this little circle with an eye right here for image details. So if you need any details about this image, come over to details. And here it will tell you uh, used on page. Currently it's not used on a page. There's no quotes, no activities, or keywords right here. So under suggested tag, if we click on this, we'll see that the name tag so here is the student's name the topic is field trip the source information right here you will see that the where the photo um, came from so it came from photo share when it was uploaded the contributor their email address image information here you will see that currently it's in school life it originated from school life so if you ever move this photo and you want to know where it came from or where this image was originally uh, uploaded to that's where this originating uh, category is. Should you activate portraits, portraits would be found under here. And this is how to set up your photo share. And so this is photo share. This is how to set everything up, get your site ready to go. A simple way of uploading and tagging the images and then sorting your images uh, from your image library to the folders that you need them. Thank you for watching. Thank you for viewing our tutorial. For more tutorials and videos that will help with yearbook creation, please check out our channel on YouTube, Memory Book Company Technical Support. Thanks again.